It takes skill, devotion and a lifetime of practice. The falconer must train his bird to fly free and hunt, then accept a return to captivity. And since ancient times, falconers from this region have hunted this bird, the Hubara Bustard, for sport and for food. Falconry in, in Arabia started over 4,000 years ago and it was always in harmony uh, between the, the hunters, the falconers and the wild uh, population. But high-tech hunting methods mean that these shy, steppe-dwelling birds are threatened with extinction. Uh, with the development of, uh, of life, technology, uh, four-wheel cars, communications, also the land use for agriculture and the poaching put a big impact on, uh, on the number of birds. At the National Avian Research Centre in Swayhan, conservationists are running a captive breeding programme to try and halt the decline in Hubara numbers. The birds are kept in climate-controlled cages. The keepers camouflage themselves and move slowly to avoid startling the shy birds. If a bird is distressed, it won't mate. We have done a lot of studies in the, on this bird in the wild. And really, it's really fantastic uh, to look at it there and to see it displaying. The keepers collect a specimen. That's then taken to the lab and analysed to maximise the chances of a successful insemination. The eggs are collected and incubated, and 22 days later, they hatch. They check uh, the healthy status of these birds and uh, teach them how to drink water by using the alpha alpha leaves and uh, the ones which are planned for release they keep them in uh, different kind of boxes with minimum uh, contact visual contact with uh, with people there are 1200 breeding birds at the center and they have quite a specialized diet Feeding all these Hubera bustards is no mean feat, and it's here in the live food unit that their meals are prepared. Every day they produce over 5,000 blind mice, 13 kilos of crickets, and 20 kilos of mealworms. Hungry? Once the birds are old enough, they're put into these cages to learn how to find their own food, in preparation for release back into the wild. There is, uh, there is a secret in this bird. Uh, it's not easy to explain, but the really uh, this bird is, uh, it's have its own uh, beauty, its own, uh, its own characters, which can attract you time after time more and more to it. The breeding program has already released 450 birds back into the wild, and they hope that with their help, the delicate balance between predator and prey can be restored. Jerome Evans inside the National.